Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Make It Monday, where each Monday I share with you some of the projects that I'm working on, or maybe something that's caught my eye, or a technique that I wanted to share with you. And so um, thank you for joining me, whether you're watching it live or on replay. Um, be sure to leave a comment below to say hi, so I can say hi back to you and know who's all out there. Anyway, so hope you had a great weekend. So for today's um, episode, um, I will be working on this set, Christmas Scotty. This is a set that includes a punch, okay? And I'm also dressed appropriately too. <laughs> anyway, the reason I chose this, well, actually this was one of the sets that I got very early on with the catalog um, because my daughter graduated from Carnegie Mellon or for those of you who are um, in the know will know it's Carnegie Mellon anyway so she graduated from Carnegie Mellon and Scotty dogs are their mascot so the minute I saw this I knew I had to get this and I had promised her I would make her Christmas cards this year hi Lisa thank you for joining me today Anyway, so I promised her that I would make her some cards. And of course, time flies and she's like, Mom, where are my where, where are my cards? And so this weekend I have been busy making her Christmas cards with this. So she will be a very proud plaid person this year. So if you know of another CMU grad or somebody who just loves Scotty Dogs, this is a great set. And one thing great about the set right now is this punch is actually on sale right now. In case you weren't aware, the last chance list is out already. So this was part of the holiday catalog and it will be expiring the end of the year, December 31st. Man, sounds weird saying end of the year and it's just a few weeks away. But anyway, so it is part of the products that will be retiring and this one is on sale for 30 percent off so normally 19 dollars it will be 13 30. so when you add this with the stamp set it comes out a little less than the bundle price so it's a great deal so if you have a dog lover or um a cmu grad um i don't know if there are other schools with this as a mascot maybe one of the high schools out there um then be sure to catch the sale. This is a great set, even though it says Christmas Scotty, there's enough elements here that you can usually expand it to other occasions as well. Hi, Lisa, thanks for joining in. Okay, so without further ado, I'm gonna switch the camera around and let's get started and see what cards I made. <coughs> okay. And of course, this is to remind me because I always forget to remind my viewers that the new mini catalog, I call it the spring catalog, but they call it the January, April catalog will be coming out. And uh, if you have, if you would like a copy of it, be sure to message me and I will get one set to you the minute it arrives on Guam, which is sometime this week, I hope. And again, yes, you're not you're not hallucinating. Yes, this is a celebration catalog. That is coming up for January and February. Now this year, there's only one celebration. I know last year there were two, but this year there's only one. So don't miss this opportunity to earn free sets or products with every $50 in purchase. Okay, so just message me and I will get you a copy of this. So as I, just a reminder, if you don't already have if you are not on my newsletter list, um, let me know, direct message me, and I will send you um, the complete list of products that are going to be retiring and also with sales. I mean, it's some of these products are up to 60% off, like this one, the Frosted Flurry Dyes, 60% off. That's awesome. And if you order it in um, this week, the, um, it still will come for Christmas, so you can give it um, as a gift. 
for your friend or um, yourself. Yeah, here's the Scotty Dog Punch. It's on sale, 30% off, okay? So anyway, so for this month, um, with any purchase of $50 or more, you will receive a gift from me, and it's a pack of this not yet available set of DSP. This is part of the new bundle collection in this new catalog. So you'll get first dips in playing with this when you place an order with me um, in the month of December uh, using the host code that I will note notate in the comments or the description box below. Okay, that was quite a mouthful. Okay, so this is the set that we'll be working on today. Hi, Becky. Anyway, so my daughter wanted some Christmas cards and who am I to, you know, say no, right? She wanted cards made by her mother. So very appropriate. Scotty dogs are mascots for CMU. And so when I first thing I thought of was something quick and easy, right? And she also wanted, she did not want any bumps on her envelope. She said that she doesn't want any bling, just something flat so it's easy to mail. So we went simple. What is the best thing to do for simple cards? Of course, it is the memories and more. And um, let me show you. You know, I was trying to go back and try to um, create the link for um, the cards that I made last time. I thought I had a video on this, but I think I didn't have a video on this. And in fact, it was just a class that I did. So I don't know if you guys wanted to see cards that I made um, with this set. You know I love doing uh, cards from these Memories and More cards. And uh, this is the Santa Express. And again, it is on sale. Um, let me just double check. Yeah, Santa Express Memories and More card pack, 50% off. What a deal. So these are all cards that I made from that pack. Okay. So quickly letting you know, just to give you an idea that this is such an easy card kit for easy cards this holiday season. And I also received these cards um, in my swap um, when I was in Vienna. So this was one. And here's another one that I was made. So really, really cute um, theme. And uh, I'm sure if you have little people that you need to make cards for or gift tags, this will be very appropriate. And I especially love this kit because it comes with these, I don't think it's wood, but it's um, die cuts. So, um, and it comes with these window sheets with designs. And uh, anyway, so it's a great card set. And of course, it comes with, you know, cards and matching envelopes, which I will show you later. And it comes with stickers, okay? All around, great deal for quick and easy cards. And so that's the first thing that I decided to do with the card was with Memories and More Kit. So I took the base card, then I added this. Mm -hmm grab this just to show you how easy it is whoops let me advance this okay so this is the note card this is one of the cards that's included in the memories and more card pack okay and I've got my little Scotty dog that I've already stamped and I fussy cut because unfortunately the punch is only for the dog, oops, dog in this orientation. So I fussy cut this, which isn't very hard. Okay. And and boom. There you go. Really cute really quick and easy and then with the sticker i will just take this and embellish the inside okay quick and easy card and then she gets these envelopes i mean 
my daughter, mom, make sure you include envelopes, okay? So that's another reason why I immediately thought of the Memories and More card pack because it comes with envelopes, okay? So here's one. And then for the other one that I made her, I figured, oh, we'll have a change of color scheme. So anyway, so that is the first card that I made for her. Okay. And then when you're doing Christmas cards or any cards for that matter, sometimes, I mean, for me, it all starts with the paper. I am fascinated. I love paper. I hoard paper. And so this is my go-to um, pack of DSP this uh, season. It is a hostess set. It's called Celebrate Everything. And so it's beyond Christmas. It's got other things too. And as you can see, I've really been playing with it. So as I'm making cards for young people, okay, quotation, because I said, oh, you young people probably would like uh, bright colors. And my daughter goes, mom, we're not young. We're 29, we're upper 29. So I'm like, that's young to me, okay? <laughs> anyway, so the beauty about starting with a paper pack is it helps you fine tune the colors you can use, the ink, right? So sometimes more choices is not good because then it's very confusing. And uh, so by limiting the color palette, then it makes it really simple, right? So let me put this away. And so, oh, so before I put that away, so with this particular paper, which is what I chose, um, it goes so well with this spruced up set. It comes with dies, okay? And guess what? This is on sale too, and it's also retiring. I mean, I am so sad because I honestly love this set. In fact, I think I've done a video. See, I need to check again because sometimes I confuse my classes and my video. Um, but I think I've done a class on this one because I've got all these extra die cuts. So even if you don't get the stamp set, the dies are almost standalone. I mean, you've got the package, you've got the, um, what do you call these? Ornaments. Yes, ornaments. Trees, um, stars, candy cane, right? But of course, you want to get the stamp set because, let's see, I think, um, where's my cheat notes? Um, oh, there we go, my cheat notes. So the dies are on sale. This is 40% off, okay? So regularly $32. It's now $19.20, less than $20 for this set, all right? And so when you add this to the stamp set, which is not on sale, but still $18, 37 and you compare that to the bundle price of 45 yeah it's a deal so you know maybe you can get this as a gift or maybe you'll save it for next year but i encourage you this is a great set it's a whimsical set which i love different fonts right and these uh, solid images are great for easy stamping okay so as you can see look at all the um die cuts Fun, fun, fun. Okay, so what did I do with this? Let me show you. Okay, don't fall. So this is the card I came up with. Okay. So it is very bright. So what I did was I kind of um, made it subdue, subtle, what's the word? Made it a little bit more... Um, not so bright, make it duller. No, I don't want to say make it duller, but you know what I mean, right? So I just added the vellum. Vellum is such a great um, tool to um, kind of differentiate a bright the brightness of the um, card. So anyway, so this is what I made, okay? So then she can send this off to her friends. I did want to share with you about when you're working with vellum, we're always thinking, my goodness, how do we hide the um, glue, right, to stamp on here when you stamp on this? So my trick is always, okay, I've got it on a plastic because I die cut these on the adhesive sheets, right? So it's easy. You don't have to worry about um, the glue. Anyway, so what I do is I 
formulate or I arrange it on my vellum and glue it down like this. And then I'm turning it around and then put solid glue, right? Not glue, but adhesive onto the areas that will be hidden by these elements, okay? Oops. So like with this one, with that big dog, there you go. I'm gonna put one right there. Put one right there, put one right there, oops. And that's how you hide your glue, okay? When you're working with this. Is the word, mute it, yes, mute it. Thank you, Becky. I knew an English teacher would help me here. Thank you, Becky, yes, mute it. Yep, 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 that's what I, that's a better word than dull, right? Anyway, so here you go. And so you cannot see the glue, right, when you adhere this piece of vellum, okay? So what do you think? I figured a bright card and kind of a formal card, and then, of course, she wanted envelopes, so of course, I had to decorate these envelopes. So this will go with this, and this will go with this, okay? All right, so those are two, and then I just worked on some more. Now remember, I'm enjoy I love that pack, and this piece of paper came with that big pack of DSP from the Hostess set, right? And so this one, I'm using one of the Memories and More card um, note cards um, for a touch of green. Um, kind of like to, since this is Christmas tree, I figure the card should be green. And this particular um, ink, um, stamp is from here. And I made it into a present. This particular banner is from the autumn. Let's see. Yeah, I have it here. Yep. It's from this. Okay. Again, this is also retiring. I am just so sad to see these go. I love especially this die cut. So as you can see, it's so useful in providing um, an extra dimension on a card. So here's this little doggy. Okay. And uh, I'm loving this because the dog is black. And so I wanted to make sure that the paper all have touches of black so that it doesn't look odd to just suddenly have this black thing on my card. So here's another one. Okay. And then another card I made is this one. So this little doggy is wearing a blue bandana instead of the red. And... Uh, Again, these are all paper from that card pack, that DSP pack. Okay. All right. And then, of course, I, you know, she didn't want any, um, you know, embellishment that was, that would make her pay extra postage. So what I did was I just used um, Wink of Stella on here to kind of give it an extra interest, right? Actually, I used Wink of Sella here, too, on all the stars. All right. What do you think? Do you think she'll like these? Which one do you like? Do you like the bright ones, or do you like this? Or I hope I've convinced you that the Memories and More cards are great for um, quick and easy cards. In fact, one of these cards, this is part of the pack that I am going to use this um, when I send out cookies um, for my other business, um, for those of you who are not aware, I actually own a pet business, pet supplies business. And so every year I send out um, cookies, baked goods um, for my wholesale accounts. And so this year is easy for me. What I'm going to do is just punch a hole here and write Merry Christmas and put this on top of the uh, cookies that I'm giving them this Christmas, okay? Easy peasy, I don't have to work on it, right? So anyway, so that's it for this Monday. I hope you enjoyed this look at um, my cards uh, featuring the Christmas Scotty. Um, and I hope you're inspired. And um, 
wondering what you are making for Christmas this year. Do you make um, all the same cards or do you do different ones? Um, personally, I usually make one card design for like 20, 30 cards. Um, but she says she doesn't mind different ones because different friends, they're not going to compare notes. So this is what I made for her. Okay, so I hope it's a winner. I hope mom did well. And um, maybe I'll let you know how she enjoys it. All right, thank you so much for joining me today. And if you have any questions, please be sure to message me and I will get back with you. And again, uh, don't miss the sale that's happening for the retiring sets. Um, what else, what else, what else? I guess that should be it. And uh, let's see. Oh, you've got five more days to sign up for Piper Pumpkin. The new kit will be, um, the subscription ends on the 10th. And um, that's also a nice kit. Um, I don't have the flyer with me, but they're um, gift card holders. So for those of you who love giving away gift cards, don't miss it. That's a great kit to get. All right. Okay. Um, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me and be sure to comment below and say hi. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.